So you're there, but I'm looking there, but that's over there. Yeah, we've got all bases covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick through, find something that obviously you've written. All right, here we go. TP1. Thought provoker number one. Do you actually know what this one is? No. <laughs> it was the first one I wrote. That was months ago. Success, whatever that means. Yeah. So success, whatever that means for you. The important thing about success is that it's really personal. My version of success could be quite different to yours. So I'm really proud of myself if I fit in a 20 minute walk in the morning, but your version of successful exercise might be running a marathon. So I think what sets people up to do well is when they get clear about what success will mean for them and also how it will feel when they get there. Last one, here we go, strategy 10. Know your superpowers. Oh, I'm so glad we get to do this one. What's your superpower? Okay, so my superpower is intuition. I think I actually have a few and most of us do. The reason that we need to know what our superpower is, is because we can use it for good, not evil. Our superpower is what we uniquely bring to the situation or the environment that we're in. And this is about knowing what we're good at. We spend so much time thinking about areas for development and things that we need to do well or better, when you know what your superpowers are, that actually helps you to do great relationships, to be successful in things, to create really strong brand about yourself. Knowing what your superpowers are is absolutely critical to success. Mm. What's my superpower? I think you've got a few. Do you think everyone has one? Uh, yes, everybody has, I think everybody has up to three superpowers. So this is your thing, if you're in a room of 100 people, it's something that would stand out about you. Okay. And if people had an experience of you, it wouldn't be the same as superpowers that stand out from others. Okay, what's, what's mine? So if you're in a room, Tommy, of 100 people and someone was observing you, I believe they would say your superpowers are your ability to engage in that room. You bring a lightness, a sense of fun, you build rapport really, really quickly with people. And we are attracted to that. So some people would call that, you know, charisma or having a sense of place in the room. Mm. So I think it's about the energy that you bring. And what I've also really noticed about you is your ability to build trust really quickly. And not very many people can do mm. that. That's, that's, that's a skill. Mm. There, there we go. But I don't yeah. even, I, I think when just thinking for other people trying to find their superpower, it's funny mm. what I identify and what other people around me identify. How can I identify that for yeah. myself? Because I feel, like, I feel like I'm just being me. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like a superpower. Yeah. How do you identify your superpower? Yeah. So some people are really self-aware and they will know what their superpowers mm. are. For most of us, this is why feedback's really important. If you want to be clear about what other people think your superpowers are, you need to go and ask them. Mm. It's very it's very much part of the Australian culture that we, we ask people what they need more of from us, what they need us to do better, but we don't tend to ask people, what is it that you most appreciate about me? Or where do you think I most add value to our relationship or this situation or our business or our people? So superpowers, are, it's a bit of a... I think it's one of those life hacks that we tend to bypass and we're not meant to talk about what we're really good at. But if I'm interviewing you for a role, if I'm looking at doing a business relationship with you, I absolutely want to know that you know what your superpower is. Mm. It, I think it can be a bit uncomfortable yeah. when people are giving you a compliment. I once got pulled up by somebody and they said, you're shitty ass at taking a compliment. Because <laughs> yeah. I kind of just want to brush over it. Yeah, okay, yeah. just keep going. Or yeah. And you know what? It's a real missed opportunity. If we say to someone, you know, you were great in that client meeting, most people will go, oh, thanks, and mm. move on quite quickly. But they never know what they did well. So if we give ourselves permission to say, thanks for the feedback, can you just give me one example of something that you think worked really mm. well? And they say, oh, it's the way you, you know, made them laugh or answered their questions really well. They know that that's something they can keep building on. I think everyone easily goes, what did I do wrong and how can I do that better? Yeah, yeah. It's the natural place that we go to. And actually, that's a blocker to success. That's fun. Ah, oh, that was fun. Thank you. Yeah. Did you learn something about yourself? Yeah, that I'm uncomfortable hearing what I'm good at. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's yeah. a weird thing, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And most people are, particularly high-performing people who think about this stuff mm. and have development plans and they are, when people walk into coaching with me, that is the first place people want to start. Mm. Lise, I've got this super long list of things that I need to work on or that I'm missing. No one ever walks into coaching to say, hey, can I tell you about all the things I've done really well this week? Mm. And that's a that's a missed opportunity. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Something to think that. about. Yeah. Yeah. Are we still filming? Yeah, I think. Oh. No, I think we're done. I think we're done. <laughs>